Clemson has a beautiful campus, so naturally there are plenty of great locations to watch the sunset. Here are five Clemson sunset locations we'd recommend. Number five, the Quad. The Quad is an outdoor common area in the middle of several fraternity and sorority life residence halls. And there are two spots I'd recommend in the Quad for a sunset. The first spot is outside the entrance of Wanamaker Hall. From there, you can look across the Quad to the right of Bradley Hall where the sun will set. The other option is to go over to here and sit at one of these... To be honest, I'm not sure what you call those. I'm just an expert in Clemson Student Affairs, not in architectural design. Anyways, these structures are the perfect spot to sit and look out through the trees as the sun sets near Memorial Stadium. And while fraternity and sorority life is known for a lot of things like close community and charity fundraising efforts, one thing they're certainly not known for is quiet. So if you'd prefer a Clemson Sunset Spot geared more towards reflection than socialization, you should definitely check out Number 4, Johnson Family Student Memorial and Reflection Garden. Located just outside Samuel J. Cadden Chapel, the Johnson Family Student Memorial and Reflection Garden is a spot on campus set aside for remembering students who passed away while enrolled at Clemson. And a sunset just might be the perfect time to do that. If you go to the garden, you'll find a bench with a good western view to watch the sunset. You can also sit on the stairs nearby if the bench is taken because you don't want to be that person who awkwardly sits on the same bench as someone they don't know. The garden's for prayer, meditation, and reflection, not uncomfortable small talk. Additionally, because of its proximity to Cooper Library, the Johnson Family Student Memorial and Reflection Garden is an ideal spot to catch the sunset during a study break to clear your head. But if the best way to clear your head is to hang out with friends, this next location might be a better option for you. Number three, Bowman Field. Bowman Field is home to many activities, especially during homecoming. But when a Official events aren't going on, Bowman is a great spot to do homework, play spike ball, and maybe even pet some dogs. The sun will set somewhere between Carillon Gardens and Tillman Hall, which is honestly maybe the most Clemson image there is. Just picturing myself playing spike ball on Bowman as the sun sets behind Tillman Hall makes me feel nostalgic for my time at Clemson. And I'm still in college. But if Bowman seems a little too activity oriented and you want a spot that bridges the gap between contemplative and sporty, you can walk just across the street to number two, Carillon Garden. Carillon was a gift from the class of 1943 and Carillon itself gives us with a good view of the amphitheater and the reflection pond. During a sunset, you'll be able to take in the atmosphere, but the sun itself will be blocked by buildings to the west, which might be a good thing because looking directly in the sun is not good. Don't, don't do it. During different points in the semester, organizations will table in and around Carillon to give information to students such as the Department of Student Support and Empowerment and the National Panhellenic Council which hosts its grill and greet at the beginning of the fall semester in the neighboring North Green. So if there's activity in Carillon when you go to watch the sunset, you can either join in or step back just outside the garden to take in the setting sun while looking at the iconic Carillon Bell. Now we've detailed quiet sunset spots, busy sunset spots, and some in between, but our final pick features all of the above. I'm of course talking about number one, the Snow Family Outdoor Fitness and Wellness Complex. The Snow Family Complex is a unique feature of Clemson, a lakefront area with plenty of space for open rec, studying, and obviously lake activities. If you'd prefer a quieter sunset, you can head over to the outdoor lounge space at Andy's, which has an upper deck and a lower deck. There are chairs and tables on the upper deck, and on the lower deck you can look out over Lake Hartwell on a hammock as the sun sets to the right. If you're already out at the outdoor lounge area, you'll see some picnic tables. Those tables offer a great view of the lake and the sun. You can also go out on the beach where you can look out at Hartwell or play beach volleyball in the sunset in case you want to feel like you're in the movie Top Gun without becoming a fighter pilot, which I hear is very hard to do. Finally, if you'd like to watch the sunset while playing soccer, both Championship Field and LeConte Family Field are available for matches as day turns to night. But keep in mind that the snow complex closes at sundown, so if you do watch the sunset, be prepared to leave right after it's over. And speaking of over, that's our full list. What are some other great Clemson sunset locations you've discovered? Let us know in the comments. And make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content for Clemson students. Go Tigers!